to Silverleaf Tarot. Today we are asking for transformational messages from the world soul. And that word transformational has come through as a theme for this reading in multiple ways. We have our rainbow feather, we have our transformational snake energy. But as I was do, um, clearing the energies of, of all of the card decks, um, what kept coming up were things like death, ace of wands, um, you know, these very um, clear endings and beginning cards, as well as temperance and justice. So there's this um, transformational energy around us, around us all at this time that is serving to bring us into balance. Now, the next card, pulling these um, three cards, these three piles for you to choose from, the next card that came out that wanted to come out and be shown was Pachamama. And this is a message uh, for us all. And I'm going to read from the guidebook this Pacha Mama card. So it's a collective message. Pacha Mama represents the unconditional love that the earth has for all her children, including the stones, the plants, the animals, and humans. She is the goddess of earth, also known as Gaia, who pervades all creation in our planet. Thanks to Pachamama, our timeless soul can experience life in a biological body. The joy and pain we taste during our brief time on earth are invitations to discover the boundless love of Pachamama. I mean, what a card to come through for the collective when we are asking for messages from the world soul. Pachamama is the world soul. Just beautiful, unconditional love that Pachamama has for, for all of us, all of us earthlings. So beautiful. And then what occurred after that was the sequence of cards. The jaguar spirit was on the bottom of the deck and it just reminded me, and I can't find it, I've been googling, I can't find it, but it just reminded me of um, some sort of Mayan cycle that ended in 2012. Something to do with the age or the era of the jaguar. I cannot find any information about it, but it gave this sense of some sort of major point of transition that we're in right now. And then the next two cards was completion. So completion of a cycle, completion of an era. So even if that Jaguar um, era, even if I'm misremembering or um, the, the era of the Jaguar with the Mayan calendar, it links up with this idea that we are coming to the completion of a cycle and then the sacrifice. Something needs to be sacrificed in order to move forward in the cycle. And then <laughs> the next card was the circle, something coming full circle. So the sacrifice isn't about giving up something that we want, giving up a dream. The sacrifice is letting go of the past so that we can move forward as a collective. This is a message from Pachamama, the world soul. She is calling us to release what no longer serves us. We're coming full circle in a way. There's some sort of major error, and this could be, um, is it Pluto and Aquarius, something like that. There's some sort of major error of time that we're coming full circle and there's also been um, information about the, I think, 12,000 year cycle 
back to the time of Atlantis, Lemuria, and that we have been through a karmic cycle for 12,000 years, and we're actually coming back to the same point in, in the spiral, in the life spiral. So we're at a very, very potent time, and our collective world soul, all of us um, being a part of the world soul, a part of Pachamama, we're coming to this really intensive and poignant time where we're completing a karmic cycle collectively and we're moving we're moving on in the circle we're moving on in the spiral and it's time to release it's time to release what no longer serves us wow so that is a message for all of us that's a collective message and now we will get into your personal messages from Pachamama, the world soul. Beautiful. So we have three piles for you to choose from today. Pile one, the child. And that is with B. Pile number two, the rainmaker. And that is with rainbow feather. Pile number three, the staff. And that is with snake. So take as much time as you need to. Pause the video if you want to choose your pile or your piles. And then you head down to the description box where you will find timestamps that will take you directly to your reading. And I look forward to seeing you there. Hello, pile number one, and welcome to your beautiful reading. We've got number seven, the child. We've got phases of the moon here and B. And when I introduced your pile in the introduction, I totally got B yourself. And then linking up with the child and um, our collective message about the sacrifice, letting go what no longer serves you to move into your new era, your new era. And this is about reclaiming your inner child. Reclaim that part of you that feels free, that feels explorative, adventurous, experimental, um, so much of our so much of our innate humanity is drummed out of us by um, the cultures in which the belief systems, the idea systems, the philosophical systems in which we are raised. But all children seek to grow. All children seek to experience. This is the driving force, and this is very much a Shakti energy. Thinking about Kundalini, it's the life force, it's the driving force, is to grow and to seek new experiences. You don't need to try to make a child talk, walk, any of that. It's that desire, it's the inner, innate desire of that Shakti Kundalini energy to grow and change and explore and express. And there's something here for you about letting go, sacrificing what has up until now held you back. 
seven, the seven chakras, the seven main chakras, is coming through. There's something about potential blockages in each and every one of your chakras. Just some sort of releasing, releasing with Pachamama, the world soul, wanting you to feel this freedom and abundance with our B spirit. Be yourself and share openly and lovingly with the world. Mm. Letting go what no longer serves you, pile number one. Oy. Oh, oh my gosh, that's so interesting because this is a this is a reading about reclaiming your inner child because one of um, the symbols, wow, <laughs> that I have in here it's a it's a little flower, it's a little uh, pink flower, and it represents innocence. It represents. Wow, it represents the inner child and it's fallen on the floor and it's fallen in a crack where I can't reach it. Imagine that. Your inner child. Hmm, has fallen in a crack where you can't reach it. And obviously you can, this is the message, but it feels like it's quite hidden. Mm. we're gonna leave we're gonna leave your inner child that purity and innocent self part of yourself we're going to leave it in the in the crack on the floor for now and towards the end i'll i'll stop the video so i can retrieve it okay this is about retrieval Wow, seven steps, something like this. There's seven steps to take to retrieve your inner child self. The fern, the unfolding fern, this will be an unfolding of these seven steps. Seven months, seven weeks, seven days. However you want to go about this, there's a calling to go on some kind of vision quest type of thing, a spiritual pilgrimage with Buddha here. Yes, there's a calling to really um, go through a process to intend to go through a process, 444, to reclaim, to retrieve your inner child and release yourself with the sacrifice. Release yourself from systems and structures with the fours that have divorced you from your inner child. We have the Hamsa palm. You're protected during this process. I'm noticing this turquoise pendant. Mm, this is turquoise. It's a very green turquoise. It's a very beautiful, it's, it's a very earthy stone, but it's connected with the throat chakra, the heart chakra, the higher heart. There's something about being protected protected by Mother Nature, protected by the world soul, Pachamama, on this journey. This is, yeah, this is about, it's time for you to retrieve and reclaim your inner child self. And I'm also getting soul fragments, and this could be the seven. Um, perhaps you want to see a shamanic healing practitioner um, to do a soul retrieval, um, healing. Pachamama is here, the world soul is here in a very gentle way. This isn't um, judgment, this isn't harsh, um, a calling to go through some kind of very harsh initiation process. It's actually, it's very gentle and it's very natural with our B spirit here. There's the energy around you. The energy is buzzing around you. That wants to help you retrieve these soul fragments. There could have been particular traumas, particular 
events that occurred, um, you know, that really harmed you, pile number one, and created these fragmented self. But it's, it's important to understand that you are whole. You are a part of the whole. Be spirit. You're a part of the collective. You're a part of source. You know, we're never, we're never really apart, but we can have um, sensations of experience of feeling divorced from our inner child. And this is what I'm getting, and then I'm seeing the snake here. This is what I'm getting from the, the, the moon. You are whole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Eight um, phases of the moon, but seven um, primarily. Interestingly, there's going to be this... Um, there's these seven aspects of yourself that need um, to be retrieved, that need to be brought home, and we can think about them with the seven chakras. So there's our uh, root chakra. Let's get some more information, but there's the, the nature of each of the chakras, there's some healing to be done, but the energy around you and your guides here, with the Buddha ending up here. You are being guided and protected at this time to go through this process. So it's not something that you, um, yeah, it doesn't need to be like a really intense um, initiation process, but it's, it's something that you need to see now, that traumatic events, and I see this snake, this tendril here yes coming from the deep so there's like from deep within you there's been trauma that has occurred that has created these um disassociations or you know splits where you're losing a part of yourself and again you're never not whole in the greater scheme of things but but it feels that way. It, it feels like you've lost a part of yourself. You've lost your innocence with us losing our um, innocent flower symbol and not being able to retrieve it. And with my hands, you've lost a part of yourself in your childhood, most likely, that, yeah, created created these um, splits, these loss of self, loss of sovereignty, uh, just a loss of sense of wholeness. And this is what you're being called to retrieve, to release yourself with the sacrifice, release yourself from whatever structures with the fours, the four, you know, um, thinking four of pentacles, the four walls of a western house, you know, Release yourself from structures that have disallowed you to tap back in, to retrieve these parts of yourself. Like perhaps, perhaps um, you loved singing. Perhaps you loved singing when you were little. Wow. And then, yeah, healing. And then someone told you that you sounded terrible and, you know, be quiet, be quiet, um, you're in the way, like what you're doing is bothering me, all that sort of thing. And it was a moment where you clamped down, this is an analogy, these four walls around your voice and around expressing yourself creatively, that sense of a split occurred in your timeline where suddenly you thought, it's not safe or appropriate for me to sing my soul through my voice. You know, it's this, this is the energy. Those moments where we clamp down a box to contain and control this wild energy with our snake here, this wild Shakti energy that is free and wants to express itself. Bear spirit healing. This is a, this is a calling to heal an invitation to see the truth, Raven Spirit, to see the truth of this, to sort of look it in the eye and say, yes, 
I did um, lose my innocence, my innocent joy of living again with our message from Pachamama in the beginning in the collective reading. Um, the sense of joy of being alive, perhaps a lot of safety structures with the fours were created and what's occurred is they've not left room for growth, you know, that um, innate sense of wonder and experimentalism and exploration and adventure um, that is the inner child. And I feel like this comes with a, a sense of being unsafe. Unsafe in the world, unsafe in your body, unsafe with other people, unsafe with change. There's a lot of safety here. Hummingbird spirit joy, 22. Mm. Wow. The bee crown. Our child becoming crowned with the bee. And look at these um, fertility symbols. Yeah, it's just, it's time to see. Again, look at these two mirroring. And Pachamama coming in to say it's safe, pile number one. It's safe for you to see the truth now. It's safe for you to see that trauma. It's safe for you to see it face to face. It's safe for you to see the truth about what you've s sacrificed, how you've sacrificed your inner child um, in an effort to feel safe. It's, it's safe to see what needs to be healed. And this is this beautiful, this energy coming in is very soft. And we've got the unfolding fern, very gentle. Look at our um, figure here touching the bear. Another four. four, 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 four. This is the moment. This is the moment to heal. There's very gentle energy, very gentle. Um, and very much there's a message about soul retrieval, retrieving that those parts of yourself that got um, sort of divorced away in those moments of trauma, in those moments of self-protection. It's to reclaim your joyful, migrationary and fertile self with our two um, fertility symbols here, birds and the bees. The birds and the bees. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. File number one. Desire. This could be um, sexual healing. This could be to do with... Um, your body, feeling safe in your body, thinking about the birds and the bees that have come through, our hibiscus, uh, which in previous readings I've discussed how that is a symbology of sexuality and sensuality, intimacy, physical intimacy. And then we've got desire. Mm. Yeah, reclaiming. Reclaiming yourself, reclaiming the parts of yourself that you um, have split away in an effort to be safe in this world. There's such a very beautiful, there's a really, it's a very tender healing energy that you can tap into right now, anytime. Pile number one, call on Pachamama. She is here for you now, 444, for, for, for you now because she wants to heal this shakti element of you she wants to help you reclaim your sexual self your sensual self your embodied self your safety your sense of safety and rightness and trust and love and joy and bliss and exploration in your body in your physical body look at that and you'll feel free. Look at this energy. I mean, this root chakra, sacral chakra energy. This is about reclaiming 
your desire, reclaiming your joy in the phys in your physical body, and setting forth on new adventures. <laughs> While number one, having reclaimed, having reclaimed what you lost. This is the energy here. Beautiful healing. Nine of water. Oh, look at this. I mean, yeah. You are being offered, called to go through a process of healing. That it's safe for you to see the truth now. It's safe for you to see the trauma, the moment, the core wound. It's safe for you to see what has held you back. So that you can reclaim those parts of yourself, those innocent, part, innocent, pure parts of your, your child self. So you can embark on a whole new joy, uh, a whole new joy. <laughs> so you can embark on a whole new joyful journey. Body, mind, it's reconnecting. This is all about reconnecting your body and your mind through this um, soul retrieval, this reclamation of your body, this retrieval of your Shakti self that is joyful in the physical world, that has desires, that has lust, that has wants, that has needs. It's healing, 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 healing energy here. We're going to retrieve your symbol of innocence your inner child symbol now. Pile number one. <laughs> Talk about lost innocence, lost trust, lost love, lost self-love, self-reverence, you know, in that really beautiful, oh, joyful way. I mean, even that it, again, that it turned over. There's something within you that is hidden with our like tendril. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's a tendril coming up from the deep here. There's a tendril coming up. There's something that you haven't wanted to see. Power number one, because it hurt and it affected you in a deep and resounding and long lasting way with our seven fractures kind of energy. But now is an offering. It's simply an offering. And you can call on Pachamama for this. You can uh, go and see a shamanic soul retrieval healer, Reiki, what, whatever. It's a chance for this healing journey to unfold. For you to stop being afraid, to sacrifice the fear to sacrifice all the things that have kept this part of you hidden. This is a message for, 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 for you to retrieve this beautiful, innocent, pure, childlike aspect of yourself and to uh, reconnect to retrieve, to reclaim, to reconnect your sensual, joyful, childlike self. And from that place of reclamation, you will be setting out on a whole new joyful, joyful journey and a, a, a journey of wholeness because this is about retrieving who you really are. This is, yeah, reclaiming your innocent, joyful, um, physical self that has desires, that has Shakti energy, that has desires and needs and wants. And honor that. Honor that. Yes, this is your message, pile number one, from the world soul and Pachamama. It's an invitation 
to allow healing to unfold and I wish you all the very best pile number one on this sacred journey to retrieve your inner child self blessings thank you so very much for being here with me for this reading pile number one if this reading has resonated with you please like and subscribe i would love to have you here for another reading hello pile number two and welcome to your reading where we're asking for transformational messages from the world soul and uh, all of these cards have already come through for you very powerful you've chosen the rainmaker and rainbow feather so rainbow feather well it's a message um, from the divine it's a message it's a message from the world soul um, it also represents um, ascension raising your vibration raising your frequency with all of our chakras here and this card this deck called to be part of your reading and this card flew out and and this is the temperance card that came up if you watched the introduction this is the card that showed itself and we've got just like the fire and water here and then you've got this fire card and rainmaker fire and water balancing balancing the fire and the water the desire the willpower um, the motion the energy with the emotions and leading towards the holy mountain so this is leading towards enlightenment wow 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 Mm. this could be healing here with the fire transmutational energy with the fire alchemizing lower denser energies and with the water washing those um, the ash of those energies clean and this is um, like a spiritual pilgrimage this is a way forward for you um, being offered by Pachamama the world soul these were the collective cards it's a healing pathway there's a healing pathway <laughs> and with the leg for you to uh, step into a new experience for you to go on a spiritual pilgrimage to transmute to um, give to the fire lower denser energies September so it's December now at the time of this reading so this is in the recent past old growth forest here with the trees there's something um, transforming the past old growth is picking up on old growth and we looked at um, these cards that came through it was about the completion yeah the completion of a cycle and the need to sacrifice what no longer what no longer serves you jaguar in this circle coming full circle there's an opportunity for you to transform to transmute lower denser energies and embark on a brand new journey that will lead you to um, self-union yeah well look at I mean wow it's like the di the direction the Shakti energy of the fire the um, life force energy the movement forward towards a point of union and this is self-union here this is union with your purpose union with yourself having cleared away with the fire having cleared away old growth wow 
you're clearing away old growth and washing what what comes up through that fiery um, alchemizing process the ash washing away the ash releasing the emotions clearing and cleansing to kind of you're clearing and cleansing a pathway with the two of wands a pathway forwards into wholeness with our two wands reaching the point we have ace of swords Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. yes okay <laughs> so I, I couldn't resist turning those over because those uh, two cards wanted to stay stuck on the table but yes yes okay we can go ace of swords here with it got kundalini energy here with the rainbow snake and then the dragon this says beware of self-delusion but um, the dragon is coming through as that kundalini energy that um, power transformational power and then there was the wraith so this is um, letting go of the old to embark on the new Four of Cups. Mm, oh. Hanged Man and the Star. Hmm. Let's see, where can we put? Yes. Yep, yeah, so this is here. This is um, a transformational moment for you. Mm, Ace of Wands under that, and the Fool. To embark on a brand new journey through releasing the past. Very significant. This one flipped off. LGs. This is protection. This is your um, spirit guides coming through. Here we go. You're a powerful transmuter of energy. The dragons um, live in the ley lines. They live in the... Um, the interconnected points between the chakras of the world. So the dragons cleanse and clear. Cleanse and clear those ley lines. Here we go. Urus. Doorway power. Again, this kind of very powerful... Talk about powerful um, animal energies coming through. And again, the Ansu's was underneath. Um, I noticed that before, but I wasn't sure if it was for you. Answers. Hmm. Wow, and then that goes so well. That goes so well with the hanged man and the star. So Ansu's is seeing things very clearly. This is um, Odin's eye, Odin's ravens. Being able to see um, the rat in the kitchen yes and clearing it out look at the eyes of the hanged man here i feel like in a recent reading we got these two how how keenly the sight how keen the sight is and then we've got ace of swords so this is clarity wow you're going through a process of letting go of that which no longer serves you with the wreath the fire you're burning up dragon energy burning up transmuting alchemizing that old growth those old dense energies that no longer serve you you're moving forward with incredible power i mean check it out the ram the stag the bull the dragon you're a powerful transmuter of energies powerful beyond even yourself pile number two you are the rainbow dragon here. You actually have the capacity to clear energies around you. Around you. But we're focusing on you in this message. Pachamama, the world soul, wants you to focus on um, clearing and cleansing you. And also the area around you I get with the holy mountain. 
the space around you, it's like being able to see the rat in the kitchen with our four of cups, the discontent, the what's not quite right for me, that energy. And then harnessing this power here, harnessing the, the ram, the, the bull, <laughs> the stag, and the dragon. And then you have the star. I mean, the star is all about healing. And then we've got the hanged man, which is about a perspective shift. Seeing something clearly. You're going to see the rat in the kitchen. That idea that any toxic energies in your vicinity. Here we go. With that um, saying, the rat in the kitchen coming out. It's in your vicinity. It's not even necessarily in you. Although you are affected by the energies that are in your vicinity. You have a chance now, your guidance... Um, your transformational message, wow, pile number two is actually to see, to take the time to see clearly those rats in the kitchen, the energies around you, the people, places, things, entities, spiritual energies are involved in this as well, and harness this amazing um, transmutational dragon, rainbow dragon power that you have. Pile number two, to clear and cleanse. Clear and cleanse. It's very much this is about the space around you, this old growth. Perhaps these are old relationships, friendships, uh, work situations, old toxic family dramas, stuff like this that has just been going on and on for ages. You want to step out with our leg here, our bare leg. You want to step out into the new. You want to um, clear and cleanse this energy. You may well, you may well be feeling a calling, star, holy mountain, a calling to embark on a spiritual pilgrimage. You could be, this whole divine guidance energy here with LGs. Oh, yes. Wow. Wow, heed the call. If you are here, look at this. This pathway forward, the North Star energy, the guiding star energy. In the holy mountain. Sacred sites, sacred places, sacred journeys. You, I feel some of you are really, really feeling guided, very strongly guided to embark on a spiritual pilgrimage. Perhaps you want to join an ashram in India for a time. Oh, this calling is deep. Look at this dragon, Pachamami energy. This is deep. This is about you taking charge with these animal spirits. Actually taking charge. You're seeing clearly for the first time, I'm getting. You're seeing very clearly for the first time who, what, and where these rats in the kitchen are. And you you want to lay them to rest. You want to burn away toxic energies, dense toxic energies. And you want to cleanse with the water, clearing away so you can step forward on a brand new journey. And this could well be a spiritual pilgrimage. All the signs are pointing all the signs are pointing to this. Pile number two. And you don't have to have the money to travel or the time or you don't have to. But this could be a spiritual journey can be embarked upon in the way that is is right for you. It's more about this harnessing this power, stepping into your spiritual sovereignty and saying, I am. I am powerful. 
I can clear and cleanse. I will embark on a spiritual journey, a transformational, transformational spiritual journey. I am willing to take the risk is coming in with the wreath when we decide to leave a career, when we decide to um, take a year sabbatical to go on um, the spiritual pilgrimage. The, the power here is unmistakable. The clarity is also unmistakable. You see this. You see this and you want to be free of this rat in the kitchen energy. You want to be free and you can be. Ah, oh, wow. These are so many. <laughs> oh, I mean, this is um, a divinely guided, divinely inspired idea that will lead you to union with yourself. You, yeah, there's this beautiful, I mean, the full, brand new journey. The full embarks on this brand new journey. Ace of Wands, again. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. This is a brand new journey into self-sovereignty, into your own power. Perhaps you want to walk the ley lines and you want to clear them. Perhaps you've, you've seen it clearly. Where was it? Oh, yeah. Perhaps you've seen this clearly, that that is what you are capable of and that that is potentially your role here in terms of your soul's purpose, is to clear, cleanse and clear, clear and cleanse these energies that are at these sacred sites and are in the ley lines, the ley lines that snake around our globe. Perhaps this is a calling from the world soul to see clearly that this is your purpose, This is what you are capable of. You are capable of clearing her um, stuck energies. Mm. But it's this journey of your own self-sovereignty. It's embarking on your own spiritual journey of clearing and cleansing and following and trusting the guidance, trusting that will give rise to this capacity, this innate capacity that you have to cleanse and clear the ley lines of Mother Earth. Check out these like <laughs> energies here. These are powerful. Don't like very... Um, Spark of inspiration. Father of Wands is the King of Wands. Very powerful. Trans it's a pow powerfully transformative moment in your life. Pivotal. Pile number two. If you choose to take up this Ace of Wands, this Ace of Swords, and follow this journey to trust, trust this guiding star, trust this divine inspiration and to move forwards, you know, foolishly, you know, um, that being prepared to take the risk to step off into the unknown, into this journey, this portal, this journey that is available to you now to, and you will truly see with our dragon and Pachamama here, through this journey you will actually see You'll come face to face, you'll see clearly who you really are, snake, snake, and what you're here to do. This is a journey of um, being able to see your true purpose. Eight of Wands, this is very uh, quick moving, boom, energy. Mmm, 
And there's something about the crackling here, the fire in the water when it's stormy, and then the fire, electricity, crackles through the air. There's, this will shake things up for you. Mm. <laughs> I thought that was the Eight of Cups, which is um, deciding to leave something that is is good is fine but it's when you're going on a spiritual pilgrimage but it's the seven of cups this is something that you're yeah and then the six of wands this is something you're contemplating now can I will I should I and it doesn't necessarily have to be such a huge thing as uh, walking the ley lines or something like that but it could be um simply through research, what you're choosing to watch, people you're choosing to hang out with, um, events or festivals that you choose to, this is, it's an internal desire to be free of the old and embark on a brand new journey. And this, it's going to lead you right, you know, this journey. It's going to lead you to see and know and feel who you really are and what you're here to do. Pile number two. This, this is your transformational message from the world soul. It's time. Boom. It is time to release the past. To clear and cleanse and step out on a brand new spiritual journey, a brand new spiritual journey. The butterfly has emerged from the cocoon, and, you know, with the Seven of Cups, there's also the sense of, like, untold experiences are awaiting you on this beautiful path, both of these, the fool and the butterfly, this... It's a fresh new experience that you've not experienced before. And there's all these cups of um, experience, you know, events, people, places, things um, that, are you, you are, that are laying in wait for you, that you are yet to experience from taking this moment, this pivotal transformational moment in your life in your hands with all these power animals, taking this in your hands and trusting and following that guidance. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being here with me for this reading, pile number two. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading. Hello, pile number three. <laughs> And um, welcome to your reading where we're asking for transformational messages from the world soul. You know, we've had Pachamama come through already. Um, this is Kundalini rising, <laughs> 100%. The staff we can see as um, the spine where all of the... Uh, chakras are. This is the double helix as well with our um, DNA sequence. So it's the um, the two snakes of Kundalini <laughs> rising. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, and then um, being alerted to your third eye chakra, that pineal gland being awakened. This is your transformational message. Oh, yes, there's definitely a calling for you to, if you feel called to, investigate Kundalini. This was interesting um, because on the, I was simply shuffling this deck and I noticed that the Three of Wands, the Three of Wands was on the bottom and then, I don't know what happened, I think this one flipped over. And it's the three of pentacles. Wow, the world. And then that, hmm. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The world and the lovers. Okay, Ace of Swords on the bottom. Again, thank you, World Soul, for such <laughs> synchronistic, I mean, wow. This is... I mean, this is union. This is true union here. Wow. Okay, we're going to put this one here. Oh, I mean, <laughs> like, come on. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <sighs> okay, I mean, first of all, the three, three. The three of wands, and look at how they're connected. And this is... Um, Something that I've experienced and um, that I've then, you know, since found out that, um, okay, I don't know everything about Kundalini, obviously. <laughs> Let's just put that out there. But I have had my own experiences of a root chakra awakening, you know, shocking, amazing. And then earlier this year, in January 2023, I experienced the full, the two, the Shiva energy coming down through my crown chakra and the Shakti energy coming up through my feet. And they met in the middle, the third place, the heart, love, the heart, the union, Kundalini, I have seen described as that it's meant to be ascension only, that it's only going up through the crown chakra, up into those cosmic energies. But the way I've experienced Kundalini and the way I've since found others um, to talk about Kundalini is it's the two, it's the double helix of the DNA sequence. We are the tree trunk. Our spine is the tree trunk through which the two energies, and we've got that all over your reading here with love, the lovers, two of cups, and then boom, the sun. Because that was what it felt like. I have had many, many, spiritual experiences my whole life my whole life has been a pathway of unexpected unintended <laughs> unsolicited um, awakenings um, and that union felt like the sun it felt like a sun a literal sun shining out of my heart it was the energy was it's indescribable apart from that like the, you think of how bright the sun is and to have that light love energy it's the energy of love it's light and love just coursing through coursing through from deep within mother earth so down through the feet up into the cosmos and then when they meet in the middle which is the heart chakra, the third place that comes through the crown, through the feet, through the root, and they meet in the middle. That third place is the heart, and that's where you get that kundalini awakening. That's it. It's not through the mind. It's not through the crown alone. It comes through, because what's being created is a channel for these snake energies to come up through and out and down through and out and to intertwine. The whole purpose is the intertwining and the combine. It's the union. And this is what we have here. We have love. We have love. Um, Kundalini awakening is is pure love it is pure it's pure union pure union and what I loved was that on the bottom of the deck was the child beautiful so this is 
the union, this is union, reunion. It's reunion. This is, um, oh, mm. okay, being alerted to something there. Okay, okay. <laughs> we're listening, we're listening. Oh, here we go. I mean, check out that fiery you. Yeah, a kundalini awakening for you is at hand. You may need to go on um, some kind of sacred pilgrimage. It's interesting because pile number two had an aspect of that. But I'm just seeing with the mountain and that pile had holy mountain. Here we've got a portal and then we've got these standing stones. Ancestral realm. So I don't mean that you have to go particular somewhere, but you may want to join you know, a kundalini activation, um, you know, whatever, like event or healing or activation retreat or something. You may be called. There, there's something about going into sacred space. Wow, being called by Pachamama, the world soul, that you can experience this union with the world we can see the Ouroboros style snake that never ends here the lovers is the two it's Shakti and Shiva uniting and that energy wow the energy from the unity uh, like <laughs> powerful oh okay and then underneath Okay, so we'll go one by one through these. But yeah, you're mm, the Kundalini. <laughs> I just love this child and the woman. And also she has quite grey hair. So it's this, there's a beautiful unity occurring or about to occur. This is an offering for you to unify. And it's your inner child and your your inner old old person, you know, the it's it's the two. We can just see with the contrast. Not necessarily that the child would represent Shakti and the the old woman would represent Shiva, but it's just it's about the union. Transformational union with our butterflies here. The union within yourself, because again we're getting our um spine and the heart yeah. here we're just being shown the same thing over and over again there's a kundalini yeah awakening at hand at hand for you for you pile number three it's the the opening of the root chakra The awakening of the crown chakra and the energy meeting in the heart and beaming out, shining out in unity. This is just incredibly beautiful. And again, the two, the um, double helix of the DNA strand, that's the energy of the snakes, that is the snake energy. Is, is that, it's the DNA, it's the two, two of cups, it's the two, the lovers, meeting in the middle with the three, three, and this infinity symbol, the unity, it's coming from two different places and becoming a third whole unified thing. Okay, so we have the divine matrix, interconnectedness, synchronicity, God incidences. I'm also seeing like this whole coming together energy here, how everything's being woven together. We've got our flower of life, which you can't quite see. But we've got the flower of life and the, the three wands and the three pentacles. Everything's, everything's coming together for this to occur. This is, this is the message. This is, this is going to happen. 
if it hasn't already. This is going to happen, pile number three. And it's a calling, it's an offering for you to experience this incredible, incredible experience of kundalini awakening and activation. It can start with activation and it doesn't need to be one singular experience. Mm -hmm. It can be activated and then an awakening and then another awakening can occur. Pleiadian activation, coming together, harmony in the heavens, resolution. Yes, this is, this is the energy. It is harmony, it's unity. Mm -hmm. Emerald tablet activation, cosmic ordering, divine alchemy, conscious manifesting. And yeah, and then we did have one more, which was the Stellar Gateway Activation, Infinite Potential Manifestation Vortex. Interesting that the word manifestation comes up twice there. Mmm. Well. Mmm. I mean, amazing portals are opening for you. Oh, I won't say that word, um, just for YouTube. Mm. Bottom of the deck, cacao. Initiation, there's an opening. There's an offering from the world soul. For this heart awakening. Mm. Let's, um, oh, wow, I mean, check out the imagery, wow, you, you can have, you can have a kundalini awakening at this time, where you just, it's like an out of body experience, it just, blows you away and look at the like reverberations in the universe when those kundalini awakenings take place in a human being it's like wow talk about the because you're then the connection you are the portal this is your purpose i mean again the two the two roots the solar energy the lunar energy the divine feminine all the chakras well, the Divine Feminine Energy, the Shakti, coming up through Mother Earth, through the World Soul, through Pachamama, through your feet, into the spinal column, into the DNA sequence, that's snaking up, and the solar energy, that cosmic, um, that cosmic energy through the Crown Chakra. Ashwagandha purpose. This is your purpose. Wow. This is your purpose. In this lifetime, pile number three is, is to experience a Kundalini awakening. And this is, it's just everywhere. It's just everywhere. The unity, <clears throat> the union, the divine union. This is being offered to you now. Mm. initiation so this is what I'm getting here is that you are being called to actually undertake a kundalini initiation um, yeah see who is around what um, offerings with cacao are around um, that would enable you to go into the sacred space Again, go into the sacred space, a sacred container, in order to um, activate and awaken Kundalini. It, yeah, <laughs> I mean, this is incredible. It's your purpose. 
This is your purpose. Poem number three. And it will, it will blow your mind. <laughs> it will blow you away. It will blow your mind. I mean, become you become the portal. Through this process, you become the portal. Interconnectedness, harmony, the cosmic ordering, the stellar gateway. This is you becoming the portal through this awakening, through this awakening, you become the portal of these energies, out into the cosmos, deep into Mother Earth, the world soul wants to let you know that this is your purpose in this lifetime, to unify the Shakti and the Shiva within yourself, <laughs> within yourself and experience kundalini awakening amazing stunning stunning reading poem number three this is your transformational message from the world soul thank you to pachamama for coming through with these be this beautiful guidance this clear sight very deep, very deep wisdom that we have been offered today. So thank you very much. And thank you to all of you for being here with me. Um, yeah, very special. And if this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading.